The physics experiment that I'm going to demonstrate is from IGCSE 062552MJ18. Question number two, and it will investigate the rate of cooling. The materials required are a thermometer, beaker, retort stand, and a stopwatch. First, we will have to set up the materials as shown. Question A asks us to measure the room temperature, and as seen from the thermometer, the room temperature is 34 degrees Celsius. Next, we will pour 200 cm cube of hot water into the beaker and record temperature theta at 0 seconds. Make sure the rise of the alcohol level has completely stopped before measuring. After measuring the initial temperature, immediately start the stopwatch. After 30 seconds, record the temperature shown. Continue recording the temperature at intervals of 30 seconds for 150 seconds. Record all the temperatures in the table provided. The next question is to plot this data in a graph. The x-axis will be labeled the time, while the y-axis will be the temperature. The scale on the x-axis will be 1 unit equals to 20 seconds, and the scale on the y-axis will be 1 unit equals to 15 degrees Celsius. We will also have to draw a horizontal line on the graph to indicate room temperature. Question E asks us to suggest two changes to the apparatus or procedure that will increase the rate of cooling. One answer can be to increase the starting temperature. When I repeated the same experiment with a starting temperature of 71 degrees Celsius, the rate of cooling was less compared to the starting temperature of 84 degrees Celsius. Other ways is to use a metal can instead of a beaker, lowering room temperature, using a fan, and using a container with a larger surface area. The last question asks us to state a precaution we took to record more accurate readings. The answer can be anyone from viewing the thermometer from eye level or perpendicularly, waiting for the thermometer to completely stop moving before recording temperature, or not allowing the thermometer to touch the sides of the beaker.